The Jaguars All 25. Presented by Sharpie. Number 7, Keenan McCarda. If I've ever covered anybody who squeezed the absolute most out of his talent, it was Keenan McCarda. Well rolling out, has time, throws across the middle of the field. Keenan McCarda, touchdown! Fires into the end zone. Keenan McCarda, touchdown! Martin looking down the middle of the field for Keenan McCarda. Makes the grab, and there he goes, 30. There's Keenan at the 20. He's at the 10, 5. Touchdown, Jacksonville! Wide receiver Keenan McCardell started his career in football from obscurity, but after 13 years with six seasons in Jacksonville, he would finish his NFL journey statistically, one of the best of all time. Keenan played the game like he was the number one overall pick, but no one knew his name for the first couple years of his career. He's like so many guys who, you know, get a cup of coffee in the league and get a chance, but he was tough and smart and ran great routes and was really committed to making it in the game. No doubt about it. I mean, he was a, also ran a backup wide receiver uh, in Cleveland who came there and became a star. Keenan McCardle was a 12th round pick, was a minor player for the Cleveland Browns. When they signed him in 1996, when the Jaguars signed him, nobody thought he was going to be a pro bowler the next year. Long count, dropping to throw, rolling left, has time, fires, touchdown Keenan McCardell! McCardell was a reception machine. He ranks 13th all-time in NFL history in that category. Keenan McCardell could go and make just about any kind of catch that you needed, and he was Mr. Chain Mover. If you needed a first down on third and six, third and seven, third and four, Keenan was a guy that Mark Brunell often looked to to move the chains. Best route runner I've ever seen. And, and I used to sit down with Keenan, he'd talk about his routes with me, and in detail, I actually wrote a story about it. It was amazing to watch him run routes. The ultimate possession receiver, yet possession receivers aren't supposed to get deep. He could separate, we saw it here, we saw it in Tampa, that for a guy that wasn't super fast, Boy, did he have two or three gears that he could get deep. Now looks long downfield for Keenan McCardell. McCardell's got the ball! 10, 5, touchdown Jacksonville! But what defined McCardell's career was his ability to take a hit and get back up again. This is the best thing I can say about Keenan, and this comes from Tom Coughlin, who told me that Keenan McCardell is the toughest football player he ever coached. Because Keenan's not a big dude, man but Keenan would go over the middle like nobody's business, man. He did not care whatsoever. He took so many shots in the middle of the field. There were times when you looked at Keenan and you go, I don't think he's getting up. He popped right back up. That's what he was, he was tough. That toughness gave McCardell his nickname and Thunder will always be linked with Lightning. McCardell, they think of Thunder. That's what they think of, you know, the, the, the complimentary guy to the speed guy on the outside and Jimmy Smith. Thunder and Lightning. There's no Jimmy without Keenan. There's not. As great as Jimmy Smith was on all those Pro Bowls and that explosive vertical speed he had, there's no Jimmy without Keenan, and Jimmy will be the first to tell you that. They were the perfect complement for each other. You had one who could go outside and do all the damage on the outside, and then you had one who was outstanding in the middle of the field and could run all the routes. Forget the fact that they're obviously the greatest pair of receivers in Jaguars history. That's the, one of the greatest receiving pairs in NFL history, period. Jimmy Smith was the best receiver on this team, and he was one of the best in the NFL. Jimmy Smith should be a Hall of Famer. Nowhere in Keenan's mind was Jimmy Smith better than Keenan. Looking long downfield, he's looking into the end zone, catch, touchdown, Jaguars! Keenan McCardell made the grab at his knees. Individually, McCardell is one of only 48 players in NFL history with 10,000 career receiving yards. Looking for Keenan in the end zone. Keenan leaps, makes the catch. Was he in? Oh, how do you not call that a touchdown? He made the catch in the end zone. Yes. Touchdown, Jaguars! Touchdown, Jacksonville! The guy that hits the home runs is the guy that's on Sports Center, but the guy that hit the double that was on base before the home run is just as important. That's who Keenan is. Without Keenan, there's no Jimmy and there's no great run in those late 90s, so he was a very important part of that. He is back in Jacksonville passing on his passion for the game to the next generation of Jaguars receivers. Come on, young buck. I want to play. When I say he loved the game, he loved every aspect of it. So that he became a coach, absolutely no shock. And in fact, in watching him on the sidelines, it wouldn't surprise me if he's not an offensive coordinator in the near future. Uh, for the course of his career, he finished with incredible numbers and deserves to be remembered as certainly one of the great players in this franchise history. He needs to be one of the next guys to go in the pride of the Jaguars. 
Keenan McCardell is the seventh best Jaguar of all time. Hi, I'm Keenan McCardell, better known as Thunder, part of the Thunder and Lightning tandem. Uh, I want to thank you guys for putting me on the All-25 team. Thank you again. I love my time here. I will always love my time here. My heart is here in Jacksonville. And guess what? Go Jags!